It's 6 o'clock, I'm Jeff Johnson, and it's right now minus 9 in the Elk Valley, minus 6 in Cranbrook. News is for Culligan Water Experts Cranbrook, Cranbrook Hyundai, and Beachcomber Hot Tubs Cranbrook. A man from Yak has been identified as the victim in a police shooting in Castlegar last week. 39-year-old Waylon Eady was killed last Thursday during an encounter with RCMP near a bridge on Highway 3 outside Castlegar. The RCMP say they tried to stop Eady under suspicion he was driving drunk when an officer left his car and fired on the man. No further details have been released about the incident, but the Independent Investigations Office is investigating. The District of Sparwood is looking at implementing what it calls a progressive energy efficiency incentive program for its residents. The program is expected to provide thousands of dollars in construction refunds and can be implemented immediately, unlike the energy efficient development permit area that was being contemplated in Sparwood's official community plan. The EEDPA would not come into effect until 2017, while the energy efficiency incentive program would also be applicable to all new homes in Sparwood. The way it works is if a home in Sparwood is designed in collaboration with a certified energy advisor and achieves a minimum EnerGuide 80 rating, the district will refund half of the building's permit fees as well as 100% of the certified energy advisor fee. That means that a home with a construction value of $350,000 could receive a refund from the district of $1,600. Staples is buying Office Depot in a cash and stock deal valued at $6.3 billion U.S. The deal announced this morning values Office Depot at $11 per share, and the deal is expected to close by year's end. Sports is for McDonald's and Sandor Rentals. The Kimberly Dynamires are now another two points ahead of the Crescent Valley Thundercats. The Nitros managed a 7-2 victory, maintaining a lead over Creston throughout the entirety of last night's game. Kimberly led 3-0 after the first, 4-2 after the second, and wrapped up the game with a 7-2 win. Trevor Van Steinberg picked up two goals for the Nitros in the victory, while Jordan Roy, Jared Markey, jo Jordan Bush, Keenan Hase, and Lincoln Lane all had singles. The Nitros are back in action Friday when they play host to the Fernie Ghost Riders. Last night in the NHL, Luca Spiza sc uh, scored in overtime as Vancouver topped Winnipeg 3-2. Brian Gianta scored the eventual winner as Buffalo edged Montreal 3-2. Toronto extended its winless streak to 10 games with a 4-3 loss to Nashville, and Ottawa dropped a 2-1 decision to New Jersey. It's parade time in Boston, weather permitting. The New England Patriots will host their Super Parade three days after they beat Seattle 28-24 in the Super Bowl. The celebration was scheduled for yesterday, but heavy snow forced a delay. The drive weather, today cloudy with a high of plus 4, overnight cloudy with a low minus 3, Thursday rain or snow, high of plus 4, and the rest of the week, more rain expected, highs around plus 7. Right now, it's minus 9 in the Elk Valley, minus 6 in Cranbrook. I'm Jeff Johnson, it's 6.05.